Hey everyone and welcome to a new quarantine vlog. Uh, vlog, 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 vlog. I'm gonna take you with me in my life, but before I do that, I'm going to say something. So I got the monkey box. I will show it to you guys. Um, if you don't like diseases or all those things, yeah, then just stop watching or scroll 10 sec seconds further, okay? On my hand and this one, so one on my leg and a few on my back. So it all started um, three weeks ago, a week, a week and a half ago. It started with headaches, uh, my throat hurted, I've got a fever and all those things. Then I got myself tested for COVID because I thought maybe it's COVID because I didn't got all those things on my body. And um, they were like, okay, yeah, let's test you. <laughs> then it turned out to be COVID. But like five days later, I tested myself again and then COVID was negative, but then I got those um, bubbles. <laughs> I don't know how to say what it is. Um, so I got them. Then I tested myself for monkeypox. Let's just say that they pop it open and they take what's inside of it. And if you don't have these, you can't do a test or something like that. Um, so, and that turned out, I got the answer today, that turned out to be monkeypox. So that's why I'm in quarantine for three weeks now. And that's why I'm gonna make these videos to take you with me, how it's my, how my journey is going. Um, maybe if I get other symptoms, um, we'll see what happened next. I also wanna say that I'm not ashamed of this happening because it's just like COVID, everybody can get it. And I know they are saying it like gay people, they have to be cautious for all those things because they can get it sooner as all the rest. But um, so yes, I'm gay and I have sex with other men. But like the people that I slept with, they didn't have the symptoms then and they still don't have them now. So, I mean, I don't know, but I could get them off anybody at this moment. I don't know where I got them from. Um, so that's my little intro right now um, before I start this vlog and um, then we can go. If you have any questions about the monkeypox or what I'm feeling, just leave it down below in the comments and I would be happy to tell you how I feel or to answer your question. So first of all, I'm gonna make myself ready. I'm gonna shave and all those things because um, I look ugly, okay? Okay, so because, wait a second, so because I have nothing else to do in this quarantine, I'm gonna answer a few questions from this little game, um, the talk box, if I translate it to English, oh my heart. <laughs> okay, that was weird, but... So I'm gonna um, answer some questions from the talk box and you'll get to know me better. Um, so let's just go with it. So I'm gonna put them all together and shuffle them. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. I'm gonna do it like this so I can't read them. What would make you even more happier? Um, at this moment, finally going to my trip in London. That would make my whole vacation like it got cancelled again so just a trip to london like even if it is a weekend from two days um a trip to london would make my life better right now next one if you could decide your age how old how old would you be if i look back to my life i would say like um 15, 16 years because I did a lot of great stuff with my friends. I did a lot of fun stuff that I made videos with my friends that I still look back at, back at uh, sometimes. Like now in these quarantines, I have watched them all back and it just made me happy that um, I wasn't one of the kids that was sitting in front of their computer screen like all day long. I was one of them that went playing in the woods and we made videos and we danced together, we sang together, we made 
series, we made films together. <laughs> it was just such a fun time in the woods with each other, all those things. So I would say 15, 16 years old. Next one, would you ever... What will be the title? Um, so I'm already writing a book at this moment. Uh, it's a private book, it's called Date Me. So uh, it's a book with all the stories of me dating with other guys and how it went and how I felt after it and um, what I learned from it. So that's what I'm working on, but it's not a book that I would ever bring out to the world. Uh, it's just for me, like I could go back and see like, oh, uh, how was that date like? Read it again. Oh yes, it was such a bitch. Like those things. Makes money happy. I believe money doesn't make happy, but it can help you further in your life. Like, if I ever want to move to London, it's just the fact that I need the money. It's not that the money that I'm getting makes me happy, but it helps me further to get to something that really makes me happy, like living in London. Last one! Okay. One year without a phone or 10 years without chocolate. This is not a dilemma for me because I'm gotta be honest, I don't like chocolate. So um, I would say 10 years without chocolate because I think I'm already doing 10 years without chocolate. Um, so that was not a dilemma for me. Because that one was an easy one, I will do the last one right now. Money, money, money. What would you do with 1 million euros? Um, I think I will answer this the same way. Um, I will move to London. I would uh, live there in an apartment in the middle of the city. I would also open a farm over there with all those animals and like people can come there and also classes can come there to teach things like um, I can teach them fairy tales in a fun way. Like I could get three piggies, I could get um, seven goats, all those things. Maybe I could get a wolf if I want to. Maybe that's not a good idea. But you get the point. So, okay, that's what I would do with one million dollars or euros. Bye.